We meet at a time of great challenges. On the Korean Peninsula, North Korea has abandoned its own commitments and violated international law. Its nuclear and ballistic missile programs pose a grave threat to peace and security of Asia and to the world. In the face of these threats and provocations, the people of the Republic of Korea have shown a steadiness and a resolve that has earned the respect of the United States and of the world. Today, President Lee and I reiterated our shared commitment to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We have reaffirmed the endurance of our alliance and America's commitment to the defense of the Republic of Korea. And we discussed the measures that we are taking with our partners in the region, including Russia, China, and Japan, to make it clear to North Korea that it will not find security or respect through threats and illegal weapons. So I want to be clear that there is another path available to North Korea, a path that leads to peace and economic opportunity for the people of North Korea, including full integration into the community of nations. That destination can only be reached through peaceful negotiations that achieve the full and verifiable denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. That is the opportunity that exists for North Korea, and President Lee and I join with the international community in urging the North Koreans to take it.